Shalom, family. Y'all know what's going on, right? <laughs> We've been warning and warning for a long time. They're almost ready. They are almost ready. Biden will back local vaccine mandates. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking, well, well, my state, my city, they're not going to make these um, jabs mandatory. Well, <laughs> y'all about to see the cabal. Y'all about to see the hidden hand. It may take some time, but eventually, it's going to be everywhere. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Except for in the Most High's pavilion. Except for in his secret places. All those people that have been prepping for years, that people call crazy, sooner rather than later, a lot of us are going to wish and realize that we should have been doing the same thing. We have got to learn how to live off the land outside of the system. That's why, you know, you go to certain uh, buildings to where, you know, unjabbed people have to be masked up. They're already creating a division, a separation, um, a segregation, if you will. It's already being created. Why do y'all think that Biden is actually bringing the troops back? Do y'all think that they're really just happy to be done with the war over there? No. They need as many troops, as many boots on ground to start going door to door. We've seen it in other countries. We've seen it in Australia. We've seen it over um, in Great Britain. They started going door to door for intimidation. For intimidation. This is not the time to be halting between two opinions. Either you're going to believe in the Most High and believe that he can heal any and every disease, or you're going to believe in man and their jabs that have more side effects by the day. That the media, the medium of chaos, keeps downplaying or just flat out not even talking about it. I mean, if you actually look into it, there is a lot. And a lot of unreported deaths. They're not even talking about the deaths behind the jabs. At all. It's not even important. It's a minute thing. Because we all, you know, you got you have to do the humanitarian thing and get jabbed up. Not knowing the consequences. And now they're talking about, again, mixing different types of jabs between your first dose, second dose, and then they're talking about a booster dose. Really, people? Really? This is supposed to be called the awakening, but there's a lot of people still sleep. Why is it so important? Why are they pushing for it so hard? What's coming next? The climax of this um, illusion, a great deception, it's coming. It's coming. You can actually feel it in the air. It's palpable. But people are still living in la-la land, you know, want to keep getting these stimulus checks, not realizing they're conditioning you uh, into an order. They're trying to create 1984, the book. If you haven't read it, definitely go read it. Even if you just skim through it. Big Brother wants to control everything. But... <laughs> And this next election, even though that's none of my business, it's going to be bananas <laughs> if this country makes it that long. Do y'all not see the rise of inflation? I used to be able to fill up my car on about $35, $36. Now it's almost $60. Inside of like three, four months. I know, I know a lot of people, oh, this always happens when Democrats get in office and this, this and that. Y'all don't realize the enemy, the snake that y'all are playing with, trying to be a snake charmer. <laughs> y'all don't know. Because y'all worship 
politicians. Y'all worship political affiliations. It's not going to save you. When it comes down to it, they don't, they don't care who you are. They don't. They just want you to obey them. They want to be God or Elohim or Elohim. They want to control every fiber of your being. It's coming. It is coming, people. There's a reason why these troops are coming back. There's a reason why. Because we know that the trials for a lot of these jabs don't end until October of next year. That's why they're trying to push and get as many people jabbed up now before next year. We could literally be living in the times of I Am Legend. We're already the walking dead mentally. Now the only thing that's left is to manifest it in the physical realm. I just want to give all praises to the Most High Yah through His beloved Son, Yahushua Mashiach. Peace and blessings to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad and the strangers that cleave to the covenant. This is the time of prayer, people. It's now. It's now. I know we've, we've survived worse, but y'all don't understand what's coming. Place your faith in the Most High, not in man. Again, it's Yahak Yehuda, Yah's Assembly. Shalom. Whoa! Whoa!